Good morning, sir. I hope you and your family are mighty fine. My name's Sandra, and I'm here with the Kingdom Hall, just reaching out to folks around these parts with the good words straight from the Lord himself. It'd be a blessing to talk about the Bible with y'all, one of God's children. Yes, yes. Tell me. So tell me, do you have any previous relationship with the Lord? Ah, yes. In previous years, I have a space down in my basement that I used to pray in. I'll show you. It'll need some work. I just don't know where to start. I reckon we start with a line from John 1-1. You know with me, Charles. The word is eternal and the world is God. The world is identified later with the one who became human skin. Are you sure that's right? Shh, Charles, we have to pray. I'm sure I've got my Bible around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. We have posters and stuff at the Kingdom Church that we could hang up on these hair walls. Come over here with me, Charles. Cl close your eyes and see. Not again! I found these boxes. Do you think we'll need them? Do we know who he last came in contact with? You barely left the house for anything. Although, we did find a whole bunch of pamphlets on the coffee table. You mean I found the pamphlets? Did Mr. Wagner ever go to church? Mr. Wagner was a very private man. I recall him going to the Kingdom Hall Church many years ago, but after his wife died, he stopped. That cross on the wall, it's been moved recently, upside down. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Go back to the station and get me these files. Erica, what's going on? I don't know, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I had a look back into Mr. Wagner's life and found that he did in fact attend church when his wife was alive. I found that strange. Lots of people come and go from the church. What's so strange about Mr. Wagner? The Marla Gray case. Marla Gray was a part of a Baptist church, but when her partner died in 1989, she stopped going. This public statement goes along the lines of her returning to church and finding God again. She was supposed to go to a Sunday service, but Miss Gray died before the next Sunday. So, what's that got to do with the police? Cause of death was poison, but we found small traces of alcohol in her blood. The public confirmed she was two years sober. My question is why? When she'd found God again, she started drinking. I looked at the photos. In some religions, wine can be used to represent the blood of the Christ. So what? She had Bible study that day. The bottle was never found, so where did it go? If she was sober for two years, maybe she couldn't handle as much as she thought. Accidental suicide. Case closed. No, it's something bigger than that. The cross was upside down. They were all upside down. Thanks for this. I really needed a break from work. It sounds tough, Erica, but I reckon it ain't no big deal. But you weren't there, Ellie. You didn't see the files. It can't just be a coincidence. Maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe you should just let the Lord do his good work. But it's messed with me. They all had... There just has to be something there. Who's she even sitting with? She's not even part of the force. I'm going over. Upside down crosses could mean just about anything, Erica. Yeah, it could mean. How did you know about the cross? So, what's going on here, hmm? My, my, my apologies, but I gotta go. Father Jonas is one to have a chat with me about Sunday service. Catch y'all later. There's something going on here, and I'm gonna find out what. The crosses weren't mentioned in the press, that's classified information. <gasps> what are you doing? Um, nothing. I decided you were right about it being an accident of suicide and close the case. Most of these cases were suicide, in fact. 
You've been acting strange ever since that day in the cafe. Anything you want to tell me, Torres? <laughs> Don't be silly, Sergeant Molly. I'm watching you, Torres. If you're hiding anything in this case, I'll find out. How dare you accuse me of hiding evidence? Lieutenant Crystal will hear about this. Lieutenant, I have a break in the case. What case, Sergeant? The Charles Wagner case. I think it's bigger than you think. There's no connection. Trust me. Detective Torres has closed the case and reported you to me. So unless you've got some actual evidence, you are dismissed. I never understood dirty cops, not until today. The oath I pledged now means nothing. I betrayed my integrity covering for a potential criminal and let that potential criminal go with no accusation or arrest. I might have the wrong person, but it all points to her. Tomorrow I hand in my badge, tomorrow I keep my dignity. I think I made a little mistake at the cafe, Erica. Ellie, I didn't know. Damn, Erica, all you had to do was keep one bloody secret. Ellie, please. Don't worry, Erica, I'll be sure to make this quick.